the big question we're asking right now. How on earth can we stop this gun violence in D.C.? We're going to dig deep and talk about it. Joining me now, Tom Brown, founder and executive director of Training Grounds D.C. That's a group that works to reduce gun violence in the metro. So thanks for coming on with us, Tom. You're working to try to crack the code. So what's the first thing that needs to be done to, to try and get a handle on this gun violence in the district? I think you've got the mute engaged there, Tom, if you want to hit that. I apologize. My IT person has gone home for the day. Now we got you now. Go um, ahead. No, uh, first of all, this issue is, is super comprehensive and super complicated, so I won't sit here and act like training grounds itself has figured out everything. But I can tell you um, one of the biggest things that we have learned is being great community listeners. Um, oftentimes, an organization like ours, we've been around over 16 years in this city and uh, doing a lot of work to serve uh, different individuals. But uh, the best thing that we figured out is, is listening um, and being responsive to what the community is helping us to say. And I do believe there's been steps here in the city over a uh, recent uh, year or so that are, um, are going to be helpful as we're talking about increasing resources to uh, community-based organizations as we're talking about having real conversations around police reform. Well, I'm a big fan of um, Chief Conti and his, his perspective on let's that. Let's talk about one think, of those things. Can you, can you highlight just one of those things that you think is especially crucial? Yeah, well, I think, um, so the work that we do, we understand that there's a whole person involved on both sides of the issue, the victim, as well as possibly the, per the perpetrators. And so they have issues, traumatic, issues, right? I believe urban PTSD is a real thing. And so helping with the families um, after they've suffered this is looking at how do we get here? What are the conditions you're living with? Um, if we find out anything about the perpetrators, what's going on with their family makeup? How do we get here? So we have mental health programming that we bring right to the community, working with great partners like um, Love More. Um, Love More is a, is a uh, organization that brings a community-based mental health with us as a partner into some of the communities, workforce development, all this development all over DC. I have a great relationship with uh, some of the developments from areas like Kenilworth and St. Elizabeth's and Fairby Hope. And, and so they understand that if they allow us to help find and develop people for employment and get trained for skills, uh, it helps to decrease and help to mitigate some of the issues. So these are things, just some of the things ongoing. Right. Um, that we understand is part of the puzzle. It's not the whole solution, but I do believe an honest conversation around what I refer to as urban PTSD um, needs to increase. Right. I mean, that's obviously one component of it. And the, the other component is uh, who are the people responsible for doing this and, and, and how can they be helped to, to find another path? You're yes. a piece of that. Metropolitan Police is a part of that. Obviously, no one organization is going to be able to come with answers and solve the whole thing. It has to be a partnership between all of them. Let's take MPD in the city just a moment, though, for, for, for instance. Do you believe that they're doing everything that needs to be done. If you were to advise the mayor and, and, and the police chief, what's a couple of things you might tick off to them that, that, that might help? Well, if I could just be so honest, I think we're uh, at a great place because some of the steps in recent uh, weeks with the largest investment in DC history uh, in gun violence um, through building blocks and the Office of Neighborhood Safety and Engagement that the mayor and the city council, I appreciate the fact that the mayor and city council, and I was involved in some of those conversations uh, came to people like myself and others to decide some of the strategies and resources necessary. So I believe those are great steps. And I believe uh, Metropolitan Police Department are great partners in that understanding and the great partners in that endeavor. So I think moving forward, we're, we're stepping in some directions that should be promising. Gotcha. And and when you talked about finally th this this concept of, of urban PTSD and, and how you're helping folks in the community, you know, this this violence is just surrounding people and, and they and they can be afraid to go outside. What's some of the sort of, sort of the dialogue that you have w with folks who find themselves in that situation? So we started a movement a few years ago called LIP, not RIP. That's live in peace, not rest in peace. And peace are five pillars, prosperity, education, access, uh, commitment and equity. So these are five pillars that if you think about these pillars in every community in the, around the globe, you have a pretty healthy, balanced, safe place. So as we get people to buy into the fact that more education, uh, more prosperity, more equity and ownership 
um, access to healthy foods, access to health care, access to items, uh, quality education and information around finances. These begin to, these are things that begin to uplift. So our thing at Training Rounds, violence intervention is just a piece of what we do. We really believe that transforming communities is what we really ought to all focus on is helping people. And we do it one person at a time. So it's yeah. just about understanding that we got to get down under the root of what happened. Don't just be reactive, but proactive. And I believe these are some of the steps we're fighting hard every day to take. Yeah. And um, it's, it's not an overnight thing, but I believe uh, we all have to continue to increase in our support for one and collaboration with one another. And this yeah. certainly platform certainly helps us to get that word out. It's, it's not just about conversations. It's about action. You are a man of action. Thank you for what you're doing, Tom Brown. Really appreciate your time tonight. God bless you. Thank you for having me.